Monster Prom's stupidest pop quiz ever, trademarked, gotta protect yourself. We throw a bunch of absurd questions at you and turn your answers into character stats. This way, each of you will start by having stats that better reflect your true selves. All right, we're gonna try to, we're trying to do this honestly. If you had to have sex with an animal, which animal would it be? Dude, both these characters are cuties. I've also got Scepter, which is like Uber, but for surfs instead of cars. And Spooner, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is like Grinder, but for silverware. You know, like I like my apps elegant and majestic. Anyone thought about thought about Spooner? Is that a thing? Search up Spooner in the app store. What about you, Qbert? What fun apps do you have? Oh, um, um, I got chess. Tiger, an app that makes tigers appear anywhere. There's nothing as majestic as a tiger. Oh, that's pretty good. Not much. This is one that I made that turns my phone into a rad car. Who needs a car when you can like ride on a tiger though? Oh my God. This mermaid's gonna get it, dog. We're going for the mermaid. It's been decided. Miranda purchases the app and a bunch of raw meat while ordering new cages for her family's zoo. Polly asks her if she can borrow a tiger or two for her next party. You gain plus two fun and plus one charm. Feeling good. Dude, my fun stat is through the roof. I'm so fun. You don't even know how fun I am, boy. Just play Helltaker. Helltaker doesn't have a 13 fun stat. When an app advertises itself as free, but then gets you addicted and causes you to end up spending more and more money, negative 99 monies at a time, that's just awesome. She gets it. Polly gets it. Microtransactions are good. If you're already rich. Suddenly, you hear the elegant gurgling sound of water trumpets. Miranda is about to issue a royal decree. My serfs and I are total BFFs. So I've decided to throw them a party to celebrate their lifelong mandatory service to the Royal Vanderbilts. And we don't want any of my serfs missing the party if their family members get sick, so I have to issue a decree. Serfs are no longer allowed to have families. We're just gonna... We're just gonna shoot all the families dead. They'll get the funerals out of the way now, and then by the time the, f the party comes about, they're not gonna have any loved ones. So no one's gonna miss the party. <laughs> Suddenly, an adorable little eel pops out of Miranda's purse. Is that a... Okay. I'll leave this to you two, because I need to go recline in a velvet chase and gaze out the window while... <laughs> oh, wee, what an amazing opportunity. Good job, comrade. I love the fact that the overall picture on the other side is still like the, the sock puppet little happy little eel. And then the one you're seeing <laughs> in real time. Where'd you get the knife? How are you holding that? I will take my leave, comrade. May your dreams of the end of tyranny, the end of monarchy, the end of Princess Miranda. <laughs> and he just... All right. I honestly do not know. I tried throwing potatoes at people and yelling food fight, but I think everyone is too scared of me to fight back. And I can't throw any food because of my stupid ghost hands. Plates, mirrors, antique furniture, sure, but not food. I like where your head is, but I'm not super into being kidnapped and shit. What if we skip some steps with some good old flashing? Yeah, I mean, I mean, if you want to, I mean, it's just. Yeah, I mean, a couple of nations die. Progress in the world has regressed to levels hundreds of years back in the past. But like, I might get a date. Ask Miranda to the prom. Let's do it. You finally pluck up your courage and ask your beloved to go to the monster prom with you. Egg! You idiot! My sisters told me that I could get diseases if I dated commoners. Oh, dude. We should destroy the monarchy. Really about to throw away half of humanity for a girl? There was only two kingdoms. I mean, we could take her to the ghost dimension. I mean, she could just go there. I can't go there, but we could, we could, we could like. 
5D, 5D parties? I don't want 5D parties. Oh, come on! Bruh! What's wrong with 5D parties? You stupid idiot ghost brain you can't comprehend the fifth dimension. Dumbass! You dumbass ghosty. That's right, I'm pulling out the slurs, you stupid old specter, Casper looking ass. Doesn't doesn't want to party in the fifth dimension. Who doesn't want to party in the fifth dimension? Name one person other than this dumbass that doesn't want to party in the fifth dimension. You can't. You actually can't. You stand accused of violating Article 69 of the Tax Penal Code. The fine is 1,000 human dollars. Oh, we're so in it, dude. We're so in it. Payable in spankings. We're back on track. We had a couple hiccups, but this is so, we're, we're so ready. You have to be an idiot to mistake this for a ghost costume, but most of our classmates are idiots. Oh, well, you know what? I can fit in with, 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 the, with the girl, dude. She'll love it. She'll love it. Can you realize you're feeling like going full ghost with your blanket again? You're observing your surroundings when you spot Miranda and Damien. You better get closer when suddenly... God, no, I need to talk to Polly. Who are you? Who's this joker? Greetings, beautiful high schoolers. It is I, the interdimensional prince. I'm here to re oh. Another member of the bourgeoisie. Comrades, rise up. Metal, the ghost just beat the prince with his ghost powers. He just threw a rock at him. Dude, pay attention, it was clearly a ghost rock. What's the difference between a rock and a ghost rock? Ghosts can lift ghost rocks. Humans could lift regular rocks. What are you, stupid? One is a rock and the other is a fucking ghost rock. You gotta like do the, the thing that like metal singers do where they like spin their head over and like their, their hair goes everywhere. Ghost rock. I was on Twitter. Okay, okay, tell me if I'm, tell me if I'm the weird one here. So I was on Twitter and I, you guys know the Wonder Bread guy? No, okay. So, yeah, all right, at least one of you guys know about the Wonder Bread guy, well, I'm gonna explain it. Uh, so there's this like urban legend of this dude that goes around to like random like porn artists and he just requests not porn, but he requests like really plump looking white women in the store picking out just tons and tons of Wonder Bread. And this dude has gone to like a, like a ton of artists and just commissioned the same thing, white woman, Wonder Bread. He disappeared on the web for a couple years, and recently, um, he started back making his rounds of just commissioning artists to do Wonder Bread. <laughs> to do Wonder Bread. And I saw one of the posts, and the artist was like so upset. The the artist was like, "I can't believe I'm I'm helping some guy's sick fetish." It wasn't like porn or anything. It was just a woman buying Wonder Bread. And it, it, like they went on like a, like a seven tweet spree of like if I if I knew that I was I was hoping this guy's sick fetish I wouldn't have done it I'm gonna warn as many artists as possible. Am I weird for being like what does it matter? Because this 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 tweet storm had like a lot of retweets and a lot of people were like yeah you should you have the right to know if the Wonder Bread is like a if he's like jerking off to it. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you not want some Wonder Bread? <laughs> oh, look, look, at, look at this, look at this one. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm gonna get back to, I'm gonna get back to the game. I'm gonna get back to the game. He describes how he wants to give the girl oral sex. He says, I can't control my horny level. Then he says, <laughs> I want to blank your brains out. I can't help it. <laughs> hey, uh, 
What do you think about that poly girl? I can't control my horny level. <laughs> you know, I think she's cool. Me halfway through No Nut November. I can't control my horny level. Then <laughs> my favorite ghost other than myself prom sure we got a yes let's go oh he says i can't control my horny level oh does she have the remotest of idea of what things are exclusive to ghosts ghost date let's party prom night is the best ghost date ever oh look at her she's all gussied up of course, you fail to see what the difference is between a ghost date and a regular date. Well, one's a regular date and the other's a ghost date. What are you, stupid? But that's besides the point here. You score at Polly, and all that took was wearing a stupid blanket with two holes cut in it. Ghost nudes? We got even better than ghost nudes. Kill, 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 Miranda, Miranda, Miranda. Uh, kill Miranda, kill Miranda, kill Miranda. I was thinking about killing Miranda and killing Miranda, but I thought I thought I, I decided against it last moment. It has mods. I own this on Switch, so this doesn't even matter to me. Obama? 